All right. So here we go again. Uh, I actually just spent a few hours trying to win with the Portuguese. Uh, one time, I was gonna win. I had 12 people with the uh, open boards, but then uh, they collapsed, and so I didn't win. So I'm trying a little different kick. Somebody asked for this uh, Greek one, and I'm gonna give it to you. So let's check it out. There we are. Start out the Greeks right here, and uh, let's immediately have our uh, revolution. Let's go slavery. Let's check out our goals real quick here. All right, literature, drama, philosophy. We need those first. We need the Oracle, the Parthenon, the Colossus, and the Temple of Artemis. It's a lot of crap. And then we got to hang out long enough to circumnavigate the globe first. We could do it. I've done this before. So anyway, let's look at our goals again. <laughs> I've played this for a while. So, all right, literature, drama, philosophy. All right, let's do it. Okay, so literature. Alright. Literature, where's lit at? I know most of you have already found it. Literature. Drama. Aha. And then philosophy, okay. So hopefully we'll be able to make some favorable trades. Start the city right here. Athens is a very, very good city. And it's going to do us a lot of good. Uh, so it's a good city to have. Start out with the uh, work boat there. And we got these guys. And I mean, the game, it would almost seem like it encourages you to sail somewhere. I'm not going anywhere. It's actually a very good city to be found right up here. And I'm going to take a couple of these dudes and stick them up in this city here. Because when the Romans come along, they're going to be hostile. So anyway, yeah. And actually, I might just want to see. Let's go ahead and probe the. Uh, let's probe the Egyptians. If the Egyptians only have warriors right now, they would be a good uh, people to take over, subjugate. Yeah, this is usually where I like to found my my city right here, because we got everything. We got the copper. Got the defense of the hills. Actually, I like to move them over one. Let's see if I could capture Egypt. That will be very helpful. It's only if they haven't taken advantage of their copper yet, which they shouldn't have yet. All right, let's move them over one. And I'm actually going to take one of these guys off and move him back down. <laughs> yeah, go ahead. To be my explorer there. Oh, good. Free worker. Yeah, we need that masonry sometime today, too. Hopefully we can trade for it. I would enjoy that. Oh yeah, it'll definitely be peace in our time, no doubt about it. You and me are going to be the best of friends until I freaking kill you. Which is going to be quite soon. Okay. Actually, oh crap, I should have moved up. Definitely my fault there. Epidamos here will be actually be a ridiculously good city as well. In fact, that's the site where I usually found one of my cities on, uh, and somehow we connected the two cities. I don't know how, but uh, that's one of the places I found my uh, cities when I'm the Turks and I'm making the bulk. It's actually you can see an example of that in my video with the Turks. But uh, yeah. Thanks for the experience. Let's see what these guys got going here. Hopefully not much. Alright, well, we're going to find out real quick because we're declaring war on them. I know that makes us big jerkos, but uh, 
That's a lot of experience, which is good because it's going to help us move fast. If there's one thing we could use, it's free tax. Okay. So that's the end of that turn. Let's hope we make that old kingdom into a new conquest. Uh, yeah, that wasn't very clever. I'm, I'm well aware of that. Ah! <laughs> Where'd they go? Their town's invisible. I can meet the Babylonians and maybe they could trade me masonry. Yeah. I don't think we can actually trade anything yet. Whatever. There we go. What do we got here? Archers. Damn it. It's the last thing I need is archers. And just warriors that go down easy. I don't actually think I'll be able to take them. Which is too bad because they would be quite a nice city to take. Or quite a nice civilization to take down. That capital city there produces a lot. How am I looking? 19%? That's not very good. We'll risk it anyway. Go for broke. I'll at least hurt him. Okay, so we didn't even hurt him. Okay, that's a big loss. But we will see if we can get you to collapse. That sucked. I mean, if I'd at least hurt him, I mean... Actually, that probably wouldn't help much. Let's get some money anyway out of this deal. No, no open borders with those dudes. Okay. Actually, going after aesthetics first might have been kind of stupid. Let me go after masonry here. Because that's the only way my other town is going to be productive. I don't know why the hell I didn't do that in the first place. Okay, is this one of the ones we got to get? I don't know. But we better get the work bow first anyway. Let's see. Temple of Artemis, is that one of them? Sure is. We only got till turn 124, so we only got 60 turns to make it happen. To make it bacon. Lousy archer. Just ruined my day. Well, at least look at the destroyer gold mine. I can take some solace in that. It's a good thing these guys are wooded area specialists here. Otherwise, I could be in a bit of trouble there. No, nah, well, we built the road there. Use that square? Sure, you can. Bam! It's good money. Damn. Certainly got enough wild animals around, don't we? Alright, let's get started. And yeah, destroy the road, why not? And while we're here. Yeah, that really sucks, because actually Egypt would be a very good city for building wonders. But, in keeping Egypt down, we're keeping ourselves up, because Egypt uh, has a good chance of building some of those things we don't want them to. Of course, so do the Chinese, which we can't do jack shit to them. But... 
Oh boy, that's bad. Oh, I got lucky there. This one we should be able to win, even though my guys are weakened, because we got the we got the covering of the uh, the forested area there. Yeah, we should have hit that one first. Well, whatever. Dies cast. It is from their foes, not their friends, that cities learn the lesson of building high walls. Okay, now we got that, so now we can get back on aesthetics. Wherever that is. Oh, there we go. Keep it up, guys. Mm-hmm. That's cool. When we get iron working, there's actually iron on there, too. Good, you're finally done. Indian civilization goes down, which is good news for us. See, as long as it doesn't say no there, we're in good shape. Bang! Take that. Alright, good deal. We need another one. Eh, yeah, might as well destroy the road, why not? Eh, we need animal husbandry. Maybe we can camp out by Jerusalem too and see if, uh... See if uh, you know, they got archers right now, but if we get lucky, they might not have them in the future. Oh, or maybe the uh, wonderful Babylonians will weaken them down for me. That'd be pretty sweet. Taking the town off the work of somebody else's brow. Yeah, I don't think we're gonna win anymore. Nope. Well, all good things must come to an end. And let's face it, I mean, it, he got a lot further than he probably would have. Alright. So let's keep up the building here. Yeah, I shouldn't have straight beelined. But we were all young and foolish once, right? Okay, so there we go. I don't need any of those, so I'm not going to go for any of those. We do need a granary, because we need our population to recover from the heavy amounts of whipping we're going to do to get this thing done. Oh man, that's bad news. Luckily, I mean, we got those woodsman upgrades, which should make them uh, a little more resistant. Uh, lots of fights up there in Russia, huh? I can't believe you guys aren't experienced up yet. I mean, I've been in like six combats since the last promotion. I wish you hadn't stepped out of those woods. Well, that's what you get. That's what I get, huh? No, I haven't made a move on him yet. Good, we got the road. Mind that, because in a little while that's going to be iron. And that's going to make that city a production hog. Hey, Grease. Or not Grease, I'm Grease. Durr. 
Hey, uh, Carthage. Alright, you want peace? You want one of my cities? Okay, well, that's probably not gonna happen there, buddy. Especially since you don't have a coastal city to come attack me. Very nice. Temple Artemis almost done. And there's the Romans. And the Romans will be quick to declare war on me, I'm afraid. Alright. We got that one done there. Let's build the barracks real quick. First one down, and what is this? The 100% trade route yield. Very nice. And let's, uh... Let's build a barracks here, too. Let's, let's get our guy here. No sense keeping him here. I'm not taking over that town anytime soon. And really, it's... I mean, it's only marginally within our interest to do so. Oh, thanks for shoving my borders back there, Rye. But it's only fair, I guess. And it was only temporary. These are the only two cities I plan on founding. Any others are kind of unnecessary. Yeah, we gotta unload this guy to make sure he's ready, because there is absolutely no doubt those dudes are going to come after you. And by those dudes, I mean our good friends, the Romans. Alright. Art for art's sake is an empty phrase. Art for the sake of truth. Art for the sake of the good and the beautiful. Mm. That is the faith that I am searching for. Vinny Diner working here. Oh, the Romans are automatically at war with me. Gross. Good. No. Can't trade anything yet. Carthage, you start out with too much shit. I can't trade anything with you. No, I'm not going to do that. So that pretty much sucks. We got our barracks here. Parthenon, we have to build that. So at least those two things are complementary. <laughs> hmm, that's interesting what happened with their culture over there. Okay, I don't have to build that. Let's build a library. The Romans will not actually try to actively carry out this war for a little while. I'm banking on it anyway. And actually, just to make sure, put that guy up there. It's a forested hill. He'll have very good defense. He should be able to stay up there and put a cork on these guys. No, we're not going with the Japanese yet. Alright, so. Or at all, really. Okay, so we got one down. We need that, uh... Parthenon, the Oracle, and the Colossus. And what turn are we on? Shit, we only got like 30 more turns. Maybe we've been going around this the wrong way. Colossus is right here. We need metal casting. And what's the other one we need? Parthenon, the Colossus, the Oracle. The Oracle we need. Priesthood. Damn it. Very thoughtless. You line them right after those techs. Luckily, nobody's built them yet. Meditation. Always complete the pyramids. Nah. Let's see if we can use them for a golden age later.
unfortunately advance we're way down the pike there. If I can win this one, that'll be pretty good since I've done my best to bumble screw it up. Good. Peace with uh, Ram Asses is exactly what I wanted. Get in there. Yeah, unfortunately, the Romans are eventually going to send some triremes out to screw up my land. And there won't be a whole hell of a lot I can do about it, I'm afraid. Luckily, they won't try any clever amphibious assaults, at least not that I remember. Almost got the Parthenon. I'm going to fold you right here. And in that fashion. Alright. And you want my city. They, they, they always want the city. <laughs> That's kind of their thing. You just don't give it to them. Yeah, how many turns we got? Three turns? That will take three turns because we can't really build anything else yet. We can't do any animal husbandry. Some more phalanxes. Or some more phalanx. I don't really know how you say it. Alright, we got the Parthenon. That's two. Not a lot of time left. Okay, now we gotta get started on the Oracle. The Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord make his face to shine upon you. Now we gotta get the Colossus. The Lord lift up his countenance upon you and give you peace. <laughs> okay, so we're pretty well dorked. Because uh, there's no way we can get that. Unless somebody else has got it and wanted to trade it. Is it really the Colossus? That's the one we need? <sighs> yes, indeedy. Maybe they have a different idea of what turn 124 is. Right. Very good. Aha, that's what you... Oh, I see. If I can get the oracle out, actually. Okay. Yeah, if I can get that oracle out, actually, I can uh, get a free tech. Durr. I'm just not thinking. Let's actually go on their land and screw with them. I don't make them sign a peace treaty, hopefully. What do you think now, Rome? Nice, still on my city. I'll give you credit, you are Maldi. <laughs> but I fear that, well, I don't fear, actually, I think that this will probably shut you up. Two turns, shit. I'd rather than make it one. Boom! Say goodbye to your iron, Jerko. Now what are you gonna do? Now what are you gonna do? Ah. Sounds like a good idea. You see that all turn red? It's like, eh, we're gonna trade crap with you guys. That's good though, I want a piece. Because the Romans are very, very tough. And you have to be very, very clever to have uh, everything go your way in a war with them. I mean, you gotta get lucky. Holy crap, did that actually remove the iron? As if so, that's quite amazing. Okay, good. Get metal casting. Colossus, eight turns. And them that take the sword we would actually have it in time. Alright, we got this great merchant here. 
Yeah, I'd say a golden age is worth it. We need a golden age more than we need money. Alright. Wow. Looks like we're gonna make it make it work here, guys. See, I was all despairing there. That was kind of pathetic. But anyway, uh, it looks like we are going to make it work. We just, let's build a forge there. there. Let's spill that guy out. And actually, our later goal in this game is to... is to, uh, what's the word for it? Is to circumnavigate the globe. So we're actually gonna have to find some way to do that. <laughs>